welcome to Femi's Dessert View. So today is for a Sunday special. I just got back from church as you can see and so I have decided to prepare the good old puff puff for my family members. So I just thought to take you along the journey. Okay, so first of all, let me give you a quick run on the rest on the measurements and the ingredients basically. We all know that puff puff is relatively simple to prepare. Only the only the only um, problem you might encounter as an amateur puff puff maker is how to get the perfect puff ball. The, the good thing about this my recipe is that I even have it for this video because we are not a lot in my house and I don't like wasting and I don't want to indulge too much. So this is just like half of the measurement of the original recipe so this is just to show you that you can actually increase it or triple it as the case may be so let me just give you what i'm using now and then just feel free to double it as the case may be so i'm using one cup of all-purpose flour as seen here one cup of all-purpose flour i'm using half cup of granulated sugar pour that in as well I'm using the yeast, one heaped teaspoon of a good product of dry yeast, as in cell grazing yeast, see, instant yeast. So this is it, one heaped teaspoon. So I'll pour that in, it's in here. And of course, this is the salt, one over four teaspoon of alcohol salt, as in here. Throw that in as well. And then give this a quick mix together to make sure that all of the yeast particularly is well incorporated in, into the and then make sure before adding water. And then this is the half cup of water I'm going to be using warm water. I actually poured it when it was heated, so I let it cool to the warm temperature I need it to cool. And then I'll be adding that the dry pepper is going to be coming in after I've gotten my desired consistency of paste. So I just add a little at a time. Okay, so let me be washing my hands as I said earlier to make sure that it's squeaky clean. Take out my jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, squeaky clean. See, my hands are clean. So I'll just mix this gradually. Start off with a very, it looks like a hard texture. See? Yeah. You'll be so surprised that this somewhat little quantity of of pork butter is going to yield almost double in volume because of the rising time. So I'm adding the remaining part of the water. So depending on the see I have put in a thick paste. looks like it's not running it's not too thick you can see it's falling off by itself this is a good consistency of puff puff butter but should in case you know how these measuring cups can differ sometimes should in case you feel in your hands that it still feels a bit too thin to touch feel free to add a bit of water at a time but always look out for this kind of consistency when you are working can you see so at this point i will just be adding the dry pepper i'm going to be using half of a tablespoon for the dry pepper now this is optional remember for mine i always add it because i always like pepper see so if you don't like to have yours with a hint of anything spicy please feel free not to add it you don't add anything to the recipe aside from enhancing the taste so I'll just give this a quick mix again. At this point, the color of your puff butter is going to change because of course the pepper inside is going to give it another color, like a brighter tone of color. Let's see what we have here. So all I'll do is to make this neat. I'll get it a, a silicone spatula to scrape the sides 
and then go ahead to add the cling film some people advise you use a warm towel or if a wet towel kitchen towel but i always prefer to use my cling film because i know that there won't be any form of air getting into the batter whilst it is trying to rise because you know the napkin can shift or anything but this is going to stick firmly to the body and you know it is quite very effective so this is what we're going to end up with at this time it's little now so before i fry it i'll be back to show you how it has risen in just an hour or two hours depending on how much i want it to rise but the, min the minimum time it can rise for is one hour so i will cover this up behind camera to save up some time and then i'll be back to show you when it's well risen and so this is about two hours after covering this up as earlier done so i had to cook and all other stuff so yeah i couldn't you know work at the mark of one hour but then this is the result we have look at what it looks like remember i told you how it's going to have some air pockets to show you that it has risen to its maximum capacity so at this point now i will just walk this through just a couple of times just can you look at what it looks like after walking it through quite elastic i already have my oil on the heat in the kitchen so we'll be going there now to fry to see how i scoop mine amateur or not you take me as i am and then I'll be back one more time to show you what it looks like when everything is fried and ready. So let's go. Okay. And then another trick is this, that you should not over clog your frying pan or your pot with too much so that you don't get them stuck together. Difference. So basically it's supposed to mix together and then have a uniform light color of result. See? So puff puff basically doesn't take too much time to fry. Note that you are not supposed to use intense heat. And you are not supposed to use too much heat so that you don't let it pack on too much oil. But at least if it's actually too hot, it would burn and it would be, you know, you know what it is now. So this one, I'm taking it out. I'm taking this out. Remember, it was the sample. So I'm taking that out. So we're working with this. You can see what the color looks like. So this is what your puff balls are supposed to look like, even if they don't have perfect round shapes. But I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to teach here. You can see that they didn't get stuck to the bottom. The oil is just enough. It's not overly soaked in. And it is frying just so beautifully. So I will show you when I'm bringing this out. Let's just hold up a second. It's, up. it's already done. I don't like it too brown. So... This is what we have here. So we have here. So of course I have my kitchen towel ready in a sieve to make sure that the excess oil is drained out. I mean before stirring it. You can see how it's rolling out of the what our very hot puff puff looks like. I hope you follow through up until this stage and I hope you are going to try it out with your family. This one is not exclusively for anybody that wants to go into business. This is very suitable to indulge and to snack on in the home with your kids and your husband, your wife, whatever, your friends and everything. Because it's very simple to make and it always, you know, looks impressive. I mean, reasonably and technically. So let me show you what it looks like. I'll just peep on It's too very hot, see? So, see? so hot but you need to see come and see closely you can see the tiny bits of the pepper inside of it that gives it a perfect spicy taste i like or the peppery taste i like you can omit it like i earlier said and you can see that it's fluffy it's cooked through it's not burnt and it's perfect so guys try this out with your family let me know your feedback if you enjoy it if you like it and if you'll be doing this often time till next time i hope to do this often you can even drop under the comment box what you like me to be teaching on the sunday special episode something that is totally different from cake recipes or icing recipes and all that i don't know if i can sustain this i hope it is sustainable but i will still give it a try 
this Sunday is for pop balls. Maybe next Sunday we can try our bones or something. I mean, we just try doing this. Let's just freestyle so that it's not every time. You know, even if you learn, if you are learning in school, you need to have some leisure and something to take off your mind from this serious, serious learning every time. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Remember, we have a community here. Remember to always give us a shout out. Give me a super thanks if you think that you found this video helpful. Continue to stream this channel and tell your friends and family about Fitness Desserts View YouTube channel. Let's continue to build a network here. Till next time, I remain your favorite baker girl. Fitness Desserts View. Bye.